Today I've been talking about um, automatic learning or better more in general machine learning and um, also the first steps that are necessary to build an intelligent system. And these first steps we have identified as the ability to detect and recognize objects or more in general the attributes of what we observe. One of the techniques that are mostly used today is supervised learning. That is, there is a teacher, an agent that tells us uh, what things are or what the attributes are in what we observe all the time. And today I've tried to illustrate that there are also a number of methodologies that um, can allow us to avoid using supervision. Uh, and these go under the name of self-supervised learning. These are essentially methodologies that allow a system to learn by itself. And the key idea is to basically take the data that is observed and to uh, split it in two parts. One part is used by the agent to actually predict the other part. And this can be illustrated in a natural way uh, by looking at videos. For example, we can take a video with 30 frames and then using uh, we could be using 20 frames to predict the future 10 frames. Now, an agent that actually does that has to learn what the objects in the scene are and has to understand how they move, has to learn uh, their attributes and their activities. Also, more in general, we can bring this ability to predict the future in a more abstract way by um, by basically building systems that are able to predict what another uh, animal in the scene is uh, thinking of doing or how an animal in the scene reasons so that we are able to better predict their actions. So this whole principle also can be justified uh, by, from a point of view of evolution uh, where basically an agent that is able to make such predictions with better accuracy is capable of surviving more than another agent that is not doing these predictions uh, because they can then plan ahead of time.